All right, lads, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be showing you all the phase tricks that I know and that I would use maybe in box fights. Not all of them I would use in game because they're a bit risky, but some of them I have used in games. If you watch the live streams we do, you would have seen them in tournaments. Um, so yeah, make sure you check the description as well because we have a Discord going. So if you want to join that Discord, you'll get like access to be able to talk to me, ask me what you need to improve on and stuff. I don't, I don't know how I validate to be able to tell you what to improve on, but still, look, it's a cool place, good place to hang out. Make sure you sub if you get anything out of this video. We do daily tip videos and we stream every tournament, so yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get on with the video then, right? First phase trick, starting off, is obviously going to be your ramp exploit that everybody knows, okay? Get under your ramp. Usually, there's two ways to do it. You can pickaxe once, then jump for the second pickaxe, like, get the timing right, and you're in like this. And then it's a 200 pump. Or, well obviously not 200 pump, not in this meta, but you can also boom, 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 and go in like that. You can get in with your, with your shotgun, or you can just, you know, keep spraying and hopefully you'll get in. You got the half ramp one, which is a bit better because if you do the half ramp one like this, it means if he does edit on you, you can jump back up and still have your right hand peak. Um, so, and it gives you a bit, bit more of an angle, you know, to be able to... You know, just get it right. Get the angle right. Yeah, good man. All right. There's them ones. Okay, they're the easy ones. Everyone knows them ones. Um, you got your side door one. There's two ones you can do here. When you open it, you can go like this. Um, I, this is one that I just figured out. So, give us a minute. Um, hold on, Sean. Can we just hop down to the bottom there for a second? Yeah. Right, you have in a box? Because I, I was touching the roof trying to explain it. So the door one is like this. Go in. You jump up on top of the door. You place a ramp that phases you. And you just walk forward and swing your pickaxe. And you can go straight in. That one's very hard for him to see what you're doing if you do it correctly. Then there's the second door phase one. Where it looks something like this. And um, you have to get the angle right. And you just go straight in. Now with both of those edits. Or phases I should say. Um, I recommend just going in like that. See now the way his wall is yellow? He doesn't know that I'm going to be in. He can't edit this wall at all. But yeah, I could still hit him like so if I wanted to. And you can't do anything about it. You can build a ramp. Um, but yeah, you can't really do anything about that wall. And then that way, when it's 50 50 it gives you the option to go into the box or shoot him. And then you realize, oh, I didn't hit him a lot. You can just walk backwards and then the wall is still his and you're still safe. Because he still has to make an edit to get to you. So you got those ones. And um, we're going to have to go... Actually, we don't have to go up a floor. We will have to go up a floor. Because uh, I cannot show this one on here. Yeah. Go. Back up to where we were. So, yeah. This one, I don't think it's going to work for me. Right now. Because I need something below me. I might be able to try this. Uh, I'm fair about it on release on, so it's a bit dodgy, but... Like, you, you, you grind up alongside this, yeah? Like, like that, yeah, it worked, kind of, but... You're meant to do it on flat ground, you know? So, like, if I, if I could place, like, a floor down here and do it, I would, but it doesn't let me. So, you need to do that one on flat ground, but then there's another one. Um, which you can do without a uh, tile below you. And it's this edit. So, you just, you know, get rid of all your floors, and you have one little thing. And you just walk, kind of, at an angle. And again, you're straight in. Do the thing with the wall where you kind of yellow it. So then again, you can just hit him once and back out. Or you can you continue, you know, to go back into the box. So there's another phase trick. And um, there are all my floor ones on the wall. There are all my exploits on the wall that I know. And um, now what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna you're gonna go back up there. I'm gonna do ones from below. So the ones from below that I know is just, you know, your ramp and you just push up. Again, you'll yellow them down to you or you can keep going up. You know, there's ways to do that. Okay, hop back up there now, Jerry. Okay, <laughs> there's the other one, obviously, where you just do one, one little corner like that. You're still in. It's the same process. Then there's this one, which I think is kind of cool, where you can go up like this. You get me? And you can shoot them. Um, and there's also a better way of doing that, where it's like this. Okay, so you crouch. Okay, you're crouched, so you're real good. 
And when you pickaxe this the second time to break the wall, you hit, you hit like, uncrouch, so watch. And you're just straight into his box. When you uncrouch. You don't need to jump or anything. Because, like, you just need to uncrouch. And then that way you can hit him and then jump, so you're not going to get jump fatigued in the box. And um, you have that floor there. I think they're, like, most of the floor ones. Not a lot of floor ones um, you can do. So, Sean, you're going to come down to the bottom. And then you're going to box up down here if you have mats. Nice. And um, I'll show you the ones from above. So you just hold the roof above you. Um, obviously you want to get obviously you want to get a bit of peace control because this is a bit of a dodgy edit. So you have your peace control, let's say. You get this cone just normally, okay? Now there is two ways to do this. The way I prefer doing it is this because if you're in a scrim trying to go into someone's box from above, you want a bit of protection. At least this gives you protection from this way and this way. You're a bit vulnerable to this whole way, but it's better than this edit where you can get shot at from left here and right so you know it is what it is but this edit you just get yourself nicely positioned you crouch down and you pickaxe here you won't pickaxe down because it's gonna hit gonna hit the cone above you sometimes okay so you want to just aim here and walk backwards as far as you can see the way you hit that so you gotta get it nice or not there is a way to do it i did it yesterday sometimes it just takes a bit of effort there see the way you find that nice spot look at that beam find a beam or not Alright, I'll just show you the other way I know how to do it. That's not my roof. You keep that roof. The other way to do it is hit it. Get that yellow dot to pop up. And then hit the yellow dot. And you're in. Okay? You gotta aim for the yellow dot. That's another way to do it. That's a bit more complicated and a bit more hassle than this one. Um, where you have the two. And you just simply back up into it. It's gonna do the same thing. So that's why you have to be careful. It's not me being a noob. You just have to get, get the angles down. Like that. Hit that blue dot again. And you phase in through any roof. Um, yeah, they are all the, the phase tricks I know right now for like getting into people's boxes. Um, but I can show you ones for, let's say, Sean is trying to come in my box. Everyone knows this one. Um, I will have my own one at the end, but let's say, Sean, you try and come in my box through that front wall. You try it. You edit on me. I have the yellow phase here. So if I want to... I can shoot him, and I just jump, and I still have my ramp. He can't edit it, he can't break the ramp, because it's yellowed. That's a very important thing. It's very easy edit to do, very underrated. You have that one. Then, you can also do the same. So, alright, let's just say, um, I am under protecting myself. You're just going to come into my box, right? It's very hard for me to do this edit, unconfirmed edit, on release, though. I don't think it's actually doable. Ah, right. Come into my box. On my cone. Boom. I edit you like that. No matter where he is on this cone, even the corners, he can yellow it. Okay? So you have that way. And then let's say you come into my box again for another time. I have it like this. Okay? Let's say I want to shoot you. I do the opposite. I reset. He's going to be... Ugh, don't yellow my cone. I'm trying to show some. You can do it like that. Like this. But then you... I can't do it with confirm edit on release. You just flip it. And then you edit this side. And you're under it. And it will, it will, it will yellow him. You get me? It will confuse him. If it doesn't yellow him the first time, it will confuse him. But they're tricky ones to do. Because I'm on confirm edit on release right now. Um, the last one is actually just kind of a weird way. If you want to go into that box and hold that wall. Don't build the stairs. Um... Or actually, build the stairs. I'll take it from you if you have the mats. So, let's say I go like this. You know, you're going into someone's box. You get the wall. You go in. You spray. You get his ramp, okay? No matter where he stands in that box, okay? You can do this. Well, not this, exactly. You go like this. You go in, up, and around, okay? Confirm it, okay? Now, when you're in this corner, usually he won't yell out the ramp when you do that. So, he's like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? He doesn't know what's going on. And then you just hit the scroll with reset or normal reset. And you will yellow through this corner and fall down right beside him. Like this. And you'll hit him. So for the last trick, I'm just going to do this real fast again. And I will kill him when I do it. No mats. Okay. Uh, let me spit my mats at you. There you go. Right. So when this is done fast, it looks something like this. Yeah, you get it. You don't even have to go the full way. Reset. See? See the way that didn't glitch me down though. So you do have to go to full way, my bad. You go like this. Hit this. You're fresh. Reset. 
You have to be in the corner. Oh, making a noob of my own mistake. Go in the corner, drop down. Like that. So if it's not working for you, I, I've literally messed it up a few times there to let you know. There is different ways where it won't work. So I didn't, I wasn't aware of those mistakes because that is just my own little signature one that I do sometimes. But I've never actually done it uh, that way. I'm not confirmed at all. It's about 15 minutes, so you gotta relax. But yeah. If you learn Atom from this video, make sure you hit that sub button. There's just a, a couple phase tricks that I know. And um, some of them you would have seen like pros use and in different places. So yeah. Um, but some of them, you know, I've just came up with and stuff like that. But not all of them, just that last one basically. But yeah, make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you in the next video if you decide to sub and stick around. So yeah, I'm gone.